Once upon a time, in a serene valley nestled between towering mountains, there stood a tall flagpole adorned with a colorful flag that fluttered in the breeze. At the base of the flagpole sat a wise old monk named Master Zen, his eyes sparkling with insight, and his heart attuned to the rhythms of the natural world. One day, as Master Zen sat in quiet meditation beside the flagpole, a gentle breeze began to stir, causing the flag to ripple and dance in the wind. Intrigued by the sight, a young traveler named Emiya approached the monk and asked Master Zen, why does the wind cause the flag to move? Master Zen smiled warmly at the traveler, his voice soft yet filled with wisdom. The wind and the flag are like to dancers in a graceful duet, he explained. Each relies on the other for movement and expression, their relationship one of interdependence and harmony. As Emiya watched the flag sway in the breeze, a sense of wonder filled her heart. But Master Zen, she asked, which is the true mover the wind or the flag? Master Zen chuckled softly, his laughter like the rustling of leaves in the wind. In truth, there is no true mover, he replied. The wind moves, the flag moves both are simply manifestations of the fluid nature of reality, forever intertwined in the dance of existence. With a wave of his hand, Master Zen gestured towards the valley around them, where the trees swayed in rhythm with the wind and the river flowed with effortless grace. See how all things in nature are interconnected, he said. Just as the wind and the flag depend on each other for movement, so to do all phenomena rely on the intricate web of interdependence that binds them together. As Amiya gazed upon the beauty of the valley, a sense of peace washed over her like a gentle breeze. In that moment, she understood the profound truth that Master Zen had revealed that all things in the universe are connected, their fates intertwined in the eternal dance of life. From that day forth, Amiya approached life with a newfound sense of reverence and appreciation, knowing that in recognizing the interdependence of all things, she could find harmony and joy in the ever-changing flow of reality. And as she journeyed through the world, her heart filled with gratitude for the wind and the flag, for teaching her the most valuable lesson of all that in embracing the fluid nature of existence, one could find true freedom and peace.